Now, let's take one more sum, that is third. Now, we need to find L inverse of S minus 4 divided by S minus 4, the whole square, minus 5 square. So that easily I can write as S minus 4, S minus 4, that gives me effect of E raised to 40. And remaining is L inverse of S divided by S square minus 5 square. That is equal to E raised to 40 cos hyperbolic 5D. Remember if it is minus then it comes hyperbolic. Now let's start with some details sum of this. Fourth, I need to find L inverse of 4S plus 2L divided by S square plus 8S plus 12. Now, understand solution students. Whenever I can see a quadratic equation in denominator, we can do a process known as completing square. Now, I can say S square plus 8S plus 12 can be written as S plus 4 that is middle coefficient half the whole square plus 12 minus 16 that is whichever term has came square of that I can write S plus 4 the whole square minus 4 which can be written as S plus 4 the whole square minus 2 square so I can change my function to taking 4 common I can get S plus 3 and it will be divided by s plus 4 the whole square minus 2 square but the problem which has happened here in numerator there is a shift of plus 3 in denominator there is a shift of plus 4 we can't change or manipulate shifting term in denominator as there is a square and we have already manipulated using computing square but we can make adjustment in numerator so I make adjustment that is I want plus 4 so I am doing plus 4 minus 4 so which can be directly written as s plus 4 the whole square minus 4 which gives me taking 4 outside as a constant I can write L inverse of s plus 4 whole divided by s plus 4 the whole square minus 4 and the rest term is minus 4 3 minus 4 that comes minus 1 divided by s plus 4 the whole square minus 4 which is nothing but final answer I can write as 4 shifting effect s plus 4 comes outside which makes e raised to minus 40 and the function will be s upon s square minus 4 that is nothing but cos hyperbolic 2t minus 1 upon s square minus 4 that is 1 upon 2 sine hyperbolic 2t that's my final answer so in this way we can manipulate denominator function by using completing square and we can change into first shifting effect thank you for watching in 5 minutes